Hi, Thea. We are with Thea Lindeborg today after the screening of As in Heaven. Uh, welcome to the 29th edition of the Film Fest Hamburg. Thank you. It was a, a very nice journey for me to watch your film. And I just wanted to start with uh, how did you end up with the script? Uh, how did you read the book and how did you, how did you write the script? So that's, that's an adaptation by the book of uh, Marie <clears throat> Bregandal. I hope I pronounced her name correctly. So how did you discover the book and how did you decide to make the adaptation? So um, the book was always on my mom's bookshelf when I was growing up and I've always been looking at it. Um, the book's title is A Night of Dying, loosely translated. And that title has just, just drew me in all these years. And then about nine years ago, after I gave birth to my son, I somehow found the book and pulled it out of the bookshelf and started reading it and having no idea actually what it was about. And um, ah, so when you I read, read it, it first, just... you read it first time then? Yeah. Oh. Right after, I think it was like three weeks after. And uh, it just, I mean, obviously the whole context of the film and how labor was such like every time you gave labor, there was a big uh, chance that either you or the baby would die. And, uh, and that whole story just totally drew me in. And I knew right away, this is the film I need to make. And, um, and so I started adapting it. And, um, and in the book, it's an all-knowing perspective. It's more like a god watching down on the humans. And I immediately knew that for me, it needed to be the oldest daughter who, um, who was the main character and who you saw the whole um, story through. So, so I adapted in that way. How was and the production process? I mean, as a debut film, it, was it difficult to finance it? It, it was difficult in the beginning. Uh, when I first presented the idea, I presented the idea to the producers of the film and they really loved it from the beginning, but it was hard getting the Danish Film Institute to be a part of it. Um, they started off with uh, rejecting it. And then I just said, fuck it, you know, I have to make this film. And I just started re uh, writing the script. And by that time, uh, there was a new... Um, producer at the Danish Film Institute who had just started and I presented it to her and um, she, you know, luckily really loved it and understood it and understood what I wanted to say. And from that point on, it actually was quite easy. Um, it took, I think, two years, a year and a half. <laughs> Just in curiosity, I'm asking, when you applied first to the fund, it was a woman producer mm -hmm. or a man producer? It was a woman. Ah, it was a woman. At the it first was phrase it was well. a woman both times, actually. Yeah. Okay. So, so I'm pulling back my <laughs> curiosity, which we understood each other. I think. Yeah. Yes, yeah. we did. <laughs> so we are watching the story of Liz, and mm -hmm. Liz actually. When I started to watch the film, I felt like, oh, okay, I'm going to watch a coming of age story. But then I realized that I'm watching in a three days growing up woman story. So yeah. uh, sometimes when you are a little girl, you may have to grow up in three days. And yes. unfortunately, although it's a periodical mo uh, movie, uh, by the way, I have to say that I'm in love with the production design and with the DOP's work. Uh, although it's a... Thank you. I mean, although it's a periodical film, I felt like we are in 2021 and we are still in the same place. It's, uh, it's strange because that's actually a comment I've gotten quite a few times that it seems very um, contemporary. It and, is. And one of the, I mean, one thing is, of course, the subject, which is always contemporary because, I mean, even though that we are so far now from... Um, 150 years ago in our part of, of the world, in the Western part of the world, because of medical science, then there's still so many places in the world where this is, this is the everyday life. And I mean, about um, eight, no, 300,000 women die every year in either labor or from being pregnant. And I mean, that's crazy. That's a crazy amount. And um, so, of course, there's that in it but then also the way I wanted to approach it was it was never I wanted to be like I never wanted to do a period piece I wanted to somehow incorporate 
yeah, something contemporary. And it was just in the back of mind. I didn't, it was also like, I thought, I don't want to do it in the set design because I want it to seem like that you were back then, but it's more in the, the way of acting, I think, and the way they're speaking and the way of, yeah, and just showing in general, I think human beings and human emotions, which are the same back then and now. While watching, I realized uh, that I remembered uh, something that they, they taught us in the film school that in a debut feature, never work with children, never work with animals. <laughs> and you did both. And you succeeded. I did. How was it? <laughs> it, was, uh, it, it was a lot. <laughs> I mean, it, we worked with, yeah, we worked with 10 children and we worked with elders and we worked with animals. We were also depending on the weather um, because everything takes place over those 24 hours and we had quite a short shoot we only shot for five weeks and we also mm -hmm. shot on film so in a way we made we put all the obstacles we could on ourselves and you know somehow got through it <laughs> but the, the, but the kids was, are perfect thank you thank you we, we it was a it was a long casting process to find these children and I mean it was very important that they were able to yeah, be natural and be on set. And I worked with them for a long time before we started shooting. So there was a lot of prep. Uh, Liz's life, I mean, taking over the responsibility of the mother, even she was not dead yet. I mean, she's still on the bed. Mm. They're waiting for her to die. And she's taking over the uh, song of the uh, mother, the prayer of the mother. And she already started to acting like a mother. And she already mm -hmm. knew that there is no future. That was my feeling, that there is no future to go to the school anymore. And the father most probably would be very happy because he doesn't want it uh, in any point, actually. Did you have the feeling of that it is a little hopeless? Yes, I do. It is. I, I mean, I find it quite hopeless. Yeah. But I feel that Lisa still has hope. Um, throughout the whole story until the very end where the mom dies and she knows okay it's final there's nothing more to do and and I think Lisa's uh, journey is very much it's in her relationship to God and because she starts out with a very childish relationship to God I mean of course in this time God was not something you questioned God was there and he was part of your life and you know and you would pray and you would you know do all these things but she's never really needed him before or her, whatever, the God. And, um, <laughs> and, uh, and throughout this, when this horrible things ha thing happened in her life, she starts, to, okay, she starts to listen also to the elders and saying, okay, that's the only thing I've been taught is that I can't, I can't do anything, but I can trust in God and God will make the best happen. And she has a hard time finding the balance in that, just like that scene where, they try to say the Lord's prayer and they can't get past his will will may his will happen. Um, and then she goes outside and she gets that sign from God that he's like, I'm here, I'm listening. And from then on, she, she trusts in God as much as possible. Um, and especially at the end when she is in the, uh, up at the attic after the mother has come down and she finally finds it in herself to say, okay, whatever may happen, may happen. I put all my faith in you god and then he takes mom anyway um so uh so i think after the film is done she has no hope and she has no trust in god anymore she there's nothing there's nothing she can lean on so i do think it's quite hopeless but i also feel that lisa is a strong girl and i'm sure that she will survive and get through this maybe not the life that she was dreaming of but she will she will find her way I thought that at least for the youngsters of the family, she will be a perfect, uh, not mother, but uh, companion, let's say, uh, for, yeah. for their future, I felt, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think so. so. I think there's hope. Yeah, there, there, there is hope. It was a great experience for me to watch your film and I'm looking forward for your new films. Thank you so much. I yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.